everyone, it's Saturday the 1st of June and it's 12 o'clock lunchtime and today I've got a barricade lamp update for you and I've actually got a couple of cones on the floor here, very small ones. Yes, yeah, so over the last few weeks I've acquired those cones and I've acquired six more lamps for the collection. Um, five of them came from a friend of mine who also collects lamps. He's been having a bit of a sort out in his collection and finding duplicates and things. And one of them I bought on eBay. Um, the lamps I got from my friend and fellow collector. Um, I bought in three separate lots with the third one arriving this morning. And two of these I've actually already got in my collection. But the third one that was with that lot because three of the lamps came together in one lot. Um, yeah, one of them I actually wanted, so... Well, that's just suppose two, because I wanted this one for the sticker on it, which we'll have a look at in a minute. First, should we have a look at these two cones? They're actually sports cones, but they're cones nonetheless. And while we're on the subject of cones, just before we have a look at these, I got asked, I think it was last week, um, in one of my recent videos, if I could uh, do a video on my traffic cone collection. Um, I can, but not at this precise moment, because for the last two weeks I've not been able to get into my shed, not properly. I can't open the door far enough um, to hike everything out. I can squeeze myself in, and that's about it. Because um, Victory Homes, who managed this block of flats on behalf of uh, Flagship Housing, are having some repair work done on our brick sheds. Which I have one and have all my cones and barriers and stuff um, tucked into it. Um, and because of that scaffolding, there's one clamp. Uh, where the bolt hangs just a bit too low and my door catches it by about that much. <laughs> um, but uh, it's been up there for two weeks and the contractors to do the repair work still haven't turned up to do the repair work. Mind you, in their defence, the weather has been utter crap this week, so I don't blame them. I wouldn't want to be up there repairing a the roof either. Um, but yes, as soon as that has gone and I can get in the shed, because I want to have a good sort out in that shed anyway, um, I will uh, stack them out and just sort of do an update video on those. Um, I have got some that I keep up here because they are made out of that plastic that doesn't like getting frost on it or, you know, the sun and the weather, so I keep them up here. I can't get to those ones as easy. Um, so I'll have to do those another time. But I can do what's in the shed. Uh, and the other thing I'd want to mention is I probably won't be talking in that video because I find it very difficult to talk to the camera when I'm in a public area like that. Um, anywho. These two particular cones I got from the last car boot sale that was here in town. So I probably got these about four weeks ago. Almost four weeks ago. Um, and one of the stalls, or the stall that I got this from, that was um, for like a, a preschool, um, if you like. I believe it's what that would be called. Where toddlers attend before they go to our primary schools. Um, you know, they had all sorts of things there, and they had these. So I've got one blue one. That's not the blue one, that's the green one. <laughs> okay, brain's not braining, because the blue one is here. So yeah, I did have a blue one, I just called out the blue cone before I'd actually shown it to the camera. Oh, well. So yeah, blue one and a green one. And apparently you can get red and yellow ones as well, so I wouldn't mind trying to find those. I mean, these are quite... But you can see they've been well used. Uh, well, that doesn't bother me. 
think there's a bit more sand in that one than this one. Um, but I don't know the manufacturer because there's nothing stamped on them. But my guess would be JSP. That would be my guess. a bit of a bummer if it is because I wouldn't mind the yellow and red ones and if they've got these on their website I can guarantee they're not going to sell them because uh, they are one of those companies where you have, they are very strict on the buy in bulk policy you know they've got a minimum amount that you can buy um, you'll find a lot of companies that sell direct are like that you know they want to sell you like a half a dozen or something or just a cup you've got to buy in bulk and it's not just being able to afford the bulk it's just what the heck are you going to do with everything that you don't want especially when you only want a couple for your collection you know you're then stuck with a bunch of stuff you've got to try and get rid of that's why I'm not keen on the idea of that unless I knew I could for definite get rid of it somewhere well I suppose I could donate it to a school couldn't I So yeah, they're the only new cones I've got for the collection. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a really slow... Well, actually, collecting roadworks equipment for me is quite slow in general these days. I don't find a lot around here because I'm in the middle of the, you know, the Norfolk countryside. In a town in the middle of the Norfolk countryside, so we don't, there isn't a lot around here to find anymore. There isn't any empty or derelict buildings around here with anything in, so... Um, no, I just don't see anything hiding in hedges anymore or anything like that. And even when I go up to uh, Norwich, in the Norwich City, you don't spot a lot around there. In fact, that's a slight lie because... There is a roundabout in Norwich which has got a barricade post on it. The problem is, I've never asked my stepdad to stop so I can get it because that is an extremely busy roundabout and I'm not prepared to put myself in that sort of danger to try and cross it to grab a barrier post. If that somehow made its way to the footpath, then yes, I might consider it, but... Yeah, that's just too much of a risk. That's too much city traffic. You know, cars, lorries, buses, motorbikes, you name it. They're all just constantly whizzing around this roundabout. You'd, I'd never find a gap to cross it. Never. So, it's a bit of a shame because I, I haven't got that particular post in the collection. But again, I don't consider it worth the risk. Anywho. The lamps. So let's start with the two that I've already got dozens of. Almost literally dozens of. So I've got these two and one other lamp as one lot from him. Two Tildorn uh, Pilot 360s. Um, like I said, I've actually got a dozen or more of these. I've got a few hanging up on my little mini display there. I've got at least another two on the floor I've got these two <laughs> I've got another six hanging up in the hallway and I don't know another sort of four at least in the outside cupboard at least another four so yeah I will be going through these Tildon Pilot 360s and decide which ones I definitely want to keep and get rid of some um, and I think because these are so popular, I'll I'd, I'd probably give them away just for the price of postage. Um, but I need to go through and decide what ones I want to keep. Um, that one's a definite because it's got the Batchley sticker on. And I've got at least one with gas on it and one with OCS. Those t other two would definitely be keepers. And definitely the six on the wall because they're actually Mark IIs. The, I believe this one because of these uh, bits sticking out here are the Mark 1s because the Mark 2s have got the plastic strap handle on um, 
whereas this one doesn't have the ability to have that type of strap on. You put a bit of string on it, or as I've done with a few others, put a little bit of wire on there so I can hang it up. But yeah, the ones in my hallway, they are a complete colour set, a complete set of all the colours. So I've got the amber, the white, the blue, the red, the lemon lens and the green. The green is currently on the floor because it fell off earlier. Um, if I don't knock, in, knock one off, one of the cats do with their tails, so there's always one laying on the floor. Um, in fact, I've got one of my guardsmen's on the floor as well, I forgot about. That one was me, I knocked that off yesterday. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, this, one, this one, unfortunately, has got a crack in the lens. It's not broken, broken, you know, broken all the way through, but it's cracked. And the third one I got with them, this is why I mainly wanted those two, because this one was with it. This little Cameron Price lamp. Don't have any Cameron Price lamps at all. This is now the only one. Um, but I have noticed that there is something written on a sticker underneath this reflective sticker. See that? But I can't quite make it out. And I was tempted to peel it to see if I could read it, but I'll guarantee if I peel it, it's just going to peel off whatever's underneath it. I think I know what it says. It says mood light. bet you that is what that says. Um, now the uh, chap I did get it from did actually say actually I don't know if this sticker is uh, on top of it or if that lettering is sort of etched into this reflective sticker. Hang on a minute. It's peeling off a bit better than I thought it would. I'm still having trouble. It's either good night, actually, yeah, it does. Ah, it says good night. That's what it says. Mystery solved. It's good night. Yeah, um, anyway, as I was saying, the guy I got it from did say that it was more of a, a night light than anything else. But still, I, I like it. I wouldn't mind trying to get hold of the proper sort of road lamp Cameron Price did. But they're quite rare. They are quite rare to find. Right, next one. Is a Till Dawn Guardsman. Now, I have got a good half a dozen, maybe a bit more, of amber ones, like this one. But this one's actually very different to all the others, which is why I wanted it. One, despite its age, it's uh, in extremely good condition, and I know it's um, before 1995 because of the phone number. That that um, format predates 1995. Because it's missing two digits for one. And for two, one of the digits it's missing is the number one from the area code. Because um, in 1995, British Telecom added the number one to the area code. So all area codes in the UK started 01. This just starts with the O. Or zero. It should be zero. We all know it's zero. Why do so many people say O? Oh? Even I do it automatically. I've even heard Americans do it as well. But anyway. That is a very different design overall to all the other ones I've got, which is like this. Which I also got from the same guy a while back, actually. This one. 
It was uh, missing a f well, it was missing a lens, and it had a broken circuit in there. But I've managed to do the repairs and find an identical lens. So I've now got this one with what I think is a French lamp. At least I think that's in French. You can uh, quite see it, um, quite clearly see there is a number of differences. Um, the body itself is different. Oh, there's another difference. I hadn't spotted there's quite a few differences actually. So it's wider, that one. I think. I do believe this one is a smidge taller. Um, this shoulder bit is wider than it is on this bit. And, well, of course, you can see this whole area here is all different. So, yeah, I'm actually glad to have that version. I have seen this version before. And at first, I actually thought that was like a, a knockoff of this. I thought there was another company um, <laughs> that was like co trying to copy it, but not copy it, you know, to try and get over all the trademarks and copyrights. But, uh, no, it is actually a Tildor. And uh, I really like it. Now, this is the last one I got from him, which arrived today. Caught up on some wires. And that is the red bodied Dorman Traffy Light. Now, in the UK, we didn't get the red bodied ones. Um, as far as I can tell, we only had the yellow bodied ones. We had we we've, we've got various versions, you know. We've got the Traffy Light with the yellow body. We've got High Light. We've got the Traffy B Light um, for all different purposes and different light intensities and whatnot. Um, but as far as I know, all the bodies were yellow. Anyway. Um, I do believe these red-bodied ones were for the European market anyway. Um, and this has got one other difference on this particular lamp. I don't know if all the red-body lamps have this feature. Um, they might. I don't know. This is my first one of its kind. This is the only one I've got in my collection. So I don't know much about them. However, I do know... I can turn that on and turn the lights off just for a minute. So it's got the photo cell, which is you know nothing new. We get that over here as well. But not only does it have that on-off switch, it's got one right here. It's not that bright because I haven't got a very good battery in it. But yeah, it's got um, flash and steady uh, burn modes. And I've never seen that on any of our UK versions. I'm just wondering if it's got a very slightly slower flash to the UK versions as well. Let's just turn that off. That battery I've got in there is not brilliant. Um, yeah, anyway, I really like that. I'm trying to find one of these. I did try bidding on one on eBay um, like a couple of months ago, but they go for silly money because they are just so hard to find in this country. Um, yeah, so there's that one. A couple of emergency vehicles going past. Tandem like that, I guarantee us a couple of police cars. Right. The sixth and final one for today is this thing, which I got on eBay. Which, uh, <laughs> the same friend I just got all them lamps from actually linked me to. And I put it in my watch list, and the next day when I checked eBay, I'd got an offer sent through from the seller, and I thought, it was actually quite a fair offer, so I went for it. 
I was just going to watch it and, you know, perhaps go for it when I had a bit more cash, if it was still there, but... No. <clears throat> so, it's, including postage, it was a little over 30 quid, this one. Including the postage, so I can't complain. Now, I'm thinking, after a little bit of research I've done, that this might have been for like the European and or purely the German market because I can only find this on the German version of uh, the Nissen website. And on their website, they've actually still got this halogen version on there, as well as the newer LED version. Um, and I have found out, I pretty much knew it as soon as I got the lamp. Now it's got these three like little holding tabs there. You can put circular lenses on here, coloured lenses. And apparently these should, have, should come with a red, blue, green and amber lens to go on there. I do believe on the website they call it the signal hand lamp or something like that. So from that I'm fairly certain this would have been designed for like railway use. Um, you know red, green and blue are very common signal colours on the railways. So if you needed a temporary signal, because one's gone down, bulb blue or whatever, then you could just chuck one of these out manually, couldn't you? Because you know, you've got two other features on this. We've got okay. I must have done something when I tried the batteries. When I looked at the batteries, but it has got steady and flash. It's just got two-way rocker switch on there, which is very nicely um sealed under that rubber membrane. I will say that for Nissan, they, uh, they do make their lamps very well. That's not to be confused with the car manufacturer Nissan. This is Nissan. This is with an E, not an A. Right, so we we're done. I'm sure when I had the batteries out early, because I was just curious, because this came shipped with both batteries. I'm just going to keep rotating the batteries till they do something. There we go, put it to work. The batteries in this end as well, by the way. Now, the website didn't actually give prices of these, because I can guarantee you've got to buy in bulk, so you actually have to contact them to order them. Tilt that down a little bit because this is very, very bright. So you've got steady, and if I flick it to the number one position, middle is off. I thought I'd actually hit it onto that mode, but I didn't. There you go. I mean, I suppose emergency services could use this as well, you know, they could stick the blue lens in it or an amber lens. So Roadworks could use it for amber. I suppose many people could actually use it. You stick a red lens on there and stick it in that mode and you've got a big bright tail light. <laughs> or you could just stand on something like that and you've got a nice bright headlight. Um, but yeah. You'll probably notice this one is the halogen version. I wouldn't mind trying to get hold of the LED version as well. But I've, I've, I've tried contacting, 
contacting Nissan for the uh, lenses to see if I get hold of some, but no response yet. So, never mind. I'm not terribly worried about having the coloured lenses for it. Um, I think it would be nice if I could, you know, complete it with them. But if I don't find them, you know, I'm not that worried. It is what it is. Anywho, that is it for the video. Um, pardon me. I've not got another video to record yet. <laughs> Um, it'll be a die-cast haul video. I'm going to take a ride out in a little while to go and pick up a box full. Uh, I don't want to do a uh, haul video on it, so that will go up after this one. I'm going to put this on the PC and whatnot and probably get it edited up and uploaded, actually. So, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you did like the video, please hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Um, and maybe consider subscribing to the channel it's absolutely free to do so and if you hit the notification bell when you do you'll get notified every time I upload a video and if you check the video description down below I will add links for my other two YouTube channels I've got a gaming channel and a channel for my Lego I've also got a discord server and I've got a Twitch channel, so feel free to check those out. Maybe consider subscribing to those and following and joining and whatnot. And uh, we'll see you all in the next video. Bye.